my towels in here. Is that okay? I don't separate. Hi, this is Malia here with Dirty Laundry, and I'm interviewing Marnie Stern, Hello. who I also play music with. And I'm going to try and fish some good stories out of her today. Read I it. love Starbucks and I drink it every day. I almost went for a job at the Starbucks in Seattle. Oh yeah, why? I met someone on tour, he was cute, so then I just went back to his hometown and then we were in Seattle and then I was broke and I thought, well, maybe I'll get a job at the Starbucks. That's what people like here, coffee. <laughs> but I didn't because I got dumped. <laughs> How do you feel about dating people in your band? I think it's a horrible idea and I'm not Really? Gonna... Why? Because it's all the reasons people say. It's the PC version of what happened. In a nutshell, the drummer liked me and I didn't want to be with him. And I started going out with somebody else and he had a tantrum and quit the band. Three hours before our South by show. Yeah. And held it all in too and pretended like everything was fine so we were having a fabulous tour and then three hours before our big South by Southwest showcase, he had a tantrum. Like, we were trying so hard not to laugh, it was horrible, because it was a tantrum, a five-year-old's tantrum. Oh, and then he broke into my Facebook page, and because he had my, I was on his computer with the password, plus I think I feel like I tell everyone my password, I mean, I'm way too trusting, but so he goes on to my Facebook and has status, as my status, he posts, I use people to achieve fame. And then he said, And the funny thing was, though, people liked it. Like on Facebook, you can be like, oh, all I my like friends it. were like, awesome. <laughs> but. What's the story of how you met John Chusa? Yeah. I was 17 and I was at a bar. This guy walks in, he storms in, and he's like tall and crazy. My roommate says, boy, that looks like John Cusack. And, and, and I say, it is him. How crazy. So uh, I'm standing with my friends. He comes to walk to go towards the bathroom right by me. So, you know, he's much taller than me, so he comes over. I'm 17. Keep that in mind. So he says, uh, so what do you know? And I didn't know that that was a popular Midwestern term for what's going on. So I said, are you, I can't really, I have to tell you what I really said because <laughs> I said, I know that the Knicks are in the playoffs and Jimi Hendrix rocks my world. <laughs> what do you know? He said a lot less than you. Okay, let's go. I said, what? He said, let's go right now. Let's go. I said, I can't go. It's a blizzard out. Where do you want to go? He said, what? I don't know. And was so rude that he stormed off talked to some other girl for a few minutes and left and then the bartender, I go up to the bar and the bartender gets a whole other round of drinks. I said, well, what's that for? He said, that guy comes in here all the time and I never saw that happen before. I said, what? He said, I never saw someone turn him down. So I go home. Of course, I'm still living at home. I'm 17. I wake up my mom. I'm like, mommy, mommy, John Cusack just hit on me in a bar. He asked me to go home with him. I didn't go. She said, Marty, what's wrong with you? I said, what? She said, you never know what could happen. You never know what it could lead to. <laughs> so do you have any celebrity crushes? Ryan Gosling. Is he, how old is that kid? 27. You've done younger. I've done younger. You've done younger. <laughs> Those are beautiful. Well, these I bought when I was dating the 20-year-old because I don't know what 20-year-olds like, so I thought I had to spice it up a little bit. <laughs>